Happy Friday. How are you doing? Today is offering day. Today is the day we do our tithes and offerings to send this message around the world. And I want to talk to you today about why the devil wants you to doubt God's word. How do I look? I have to look good for you people. I know you are a beautiful group of people. I think we got the best looking partners of any ministry in the country. And you definitely have the best pastor because I'm available. Everybody wants you to be their partner and support them, but they're not available to you. You can't talk to them. You can talk to me and I'll get things done for you. I will get prayers answered for you. I will get you healed. I'll get you blessed. I'll keep the devil out of your life through the power in the name of Jesus. Huh? That sounds some, like someplace you ought to partner with? I would think so. Glory to God, huh? Say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart, getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Great things are coming my way. Everything always works out for me. I am a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Pastor Jim is the ultimate pastor because I get results. And I'm available. Those two, that's a big deal. To get results and be available, huh? Hallelujah. Especially today. When you do your offerings and donations and your gifts and your tithe today, especially, make sure you call me so I can speak God's word for word blessing over you. Exactly the way he commanded us to do it. He said, this is how I want you to do it. And this is what I want you to say. I use God's words. When I speak the blessing over you folks, I'm not speaking my blessing. I'm speaking God's blessing. He told us to give, to speak his blessing. And he said, he will bless you. My obligation is to speak that. His obligation is to bless you. If he doesn't, you can fuss at him, especially if you're a tither. If you're a tither and you're blessed, you can fuss at God to increase your finances. Glory to God, huh? Why the devil wants you to doubt? Call me if you need your prayers answered. I don't doubt. I don't doubt. James, chapter one. It says, if anybody lacks wisdom. Now, wisdom is just what they're using for this. It could be if anybody lacks money. If anybody lacks healing. If anybody lacks the goodness of God, if anybody lacks salvation, if anybody lacks anything, let him ask of God. Who gives to all people liberally. Means without measure. Do you know that if you can believe or if you're hooked up with somebody who can believe for you, there's nothing you can't have. There is nothing you can't get from God. There is no place you can't go. No job you can't have. No car you can't drive. No house you can't live in. We receive everything we get from God according to faith. But here's the deal. It doesn't always have to be your faith. It can be somebody else's faith. Find a prayer partner who has great faith and you can live the life of Riley. If you can't find somebody, hook up with me and I'll do it for you. We, I'll tell you, we got people living in million dollar homes, folks. A bunch of them. I praise God for these people because they're examples of God's goodness. That's all they are. They're examples of God's goodness. And they bring people into the kingdom. If anybody lacks wisdom, 
let them ask of God who gives to all people liberally and braith not. God's not going to fuss at you for asking him for something. And it shall be given unto them. How simple is that? Ask God and he will give it to you. But there's a caveat there. Do you know what a caveat is? It's a little something extra. But, B-U-T, one, one T, not two T's. B-U-T-T -T is something you sit on. This is a B-U-T, but it's like an if. I do videos, a lot of videos, on which side of the if are you on. God says, if you follow my commandments. If. Every, everything we get from God is based on an if. An if. If you can believe God, there is nothing you can't have. But if you don't believe God, there's nothing he will do for you. If. If. It's like a but. But let them ask in faith nothing wavering. Now that word wavering is translated duo doubt. It's the same word, uh, same Greek word that is used for doubt or for stagger. It says that Abraham staggered not at the promises of God. He did not doubt. He got to the point. Now, Abraham did doubt God for a long time. But after 24 years of hearing from God, he got to the point where he did not doubt God anymore. The devil wants you to doubt God. If he can get you to doubt God, he can stop you from having anything. He can stop you from receiving anything from God. Because it also says here, but let that person ask in faith without wavering. For he that asks, he that wavers is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. Let not that person think they'll receive anything from God. You ain't getting nothing from God if you doubt. Now, what exactly is doubt? Most people don't even know what doubt is. Doubt, the word doubt is duo, means two. It is considering two different outcomes, doubt. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll live, maybe I'll die. See, the minute the doctor says you have cancer, doubt comes in. And the doubt is maybe I'll live through this, maybe God will heal me, and maybe he won't. Doubt. And if you're doubting, you get nothing from God. Doubt is the faith blocker. It's like when you're going down the road of life in your faith mobile, and you come to a roadblock, a wall, and that wall says doubt. And you can't get through. Unless you get out of the car and tear down the doubt. Tear down that wall, the wall of doubt. When you tear it down, you can keep going down the road of life in your faith mobile. And while you're driving down the road of life in your faith mobile, you're receiving everything you need from God. Everything. But, B-U-T, if you doubt, you get nothing. Nothing! Zip, zero, nada, nothing from God. Jesus even said in Mark eleven twenty three, 23, if you speak to this mountain, to be thou removed, be cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in your heart, but believe what you say. You have to believe your own words with no doubt. 
No doubt. The devil wants you to doubt. When Jesus was out in the boat and a storm came up, did he say, let me try something. We'll see if this works. Did he do that? No. When he encountered sick people, did he say, well, let me pray for you. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> no. Let me tell you something. I hear politicians and people on TV all the time say, well, we'll see what happens. No, I don't see what happens. I declare what happens. I'll tell you what happens. What I say will happen through the power in the name of Jesus. Because when I declare something, folks, there is no doubt but what the power of Jesus will cause it to happen. When I say to you, be healed in the name of Jesus, I'm doing it with absolutely no doubt. I know 100% sure that God is going to heal you. It might be instant, might take a day or two, but you're going to be healed. When I tell that devil to come out, there's no doubt about the power in the name of Jesus to remove that demon. No doubt. No doubt. A lack of doubt is a, per a person who does not doubt is a person who absolutely refuses to believe anything else other than what God's word says. And I refuse to believe anything else. Somebody said to me one time, they said, well, it doesn't always work that way. They threw me off track because it was a very prestigious person that said that to me. But they were wrong. And when I realized they were wrong, I refused to believe them. I refused to believe them because God's word says by the stripes of Jesus, you were healed. And it doesn't say you might be healed. It says you were healed. These signs shall follow those people who have faith in my name. And let me tell you something. It doesn't say it might. It says it can. It shall. The word shall means no doubt. Honor the Lord with your substance and with the first fruits of all your increase. So shall your barns be filled with plenty. No doubt. I refuse to believe anything else. If I honor God with my tithe, and that's the first fruits. If I honor God with my tithe, which I do, I absolutely refuse to believe anything else other than the fact that God is going to bless me. And I don't care what the devil says or who he sends to say it. None of it matters to me. All that matters is, to me, is what God's word says. And I refuse to believe anything else. And that's why this ministry is so powerful. Why we get such incredible miracles. Why people find their lost dogs. They find their lost dogs. Their cats get healed. Their babies get healed. I make the devil take his hands off of their children. And their children's lives straighten out. Because when I issue a command in the name of Jesus, let me tell you something, folks. There is no doubt mixed into that. The devil wants you to doubt. Don't fall for it. No. God's word is true exactly the way it's written. And refuse to believe anything else. And you'll get results like I do. Or if you're not at that point, call me. I'll get the results for you. That's the one thing about faith is I can use my faith to get what you need for you. Glory to God. Call me today, especially when you do your offerings and donations on offering day. <clears throat> Share this video with everybody you know. I am determined you're going to live a curse-free, blessed life. And I will use the power in the name of Jesus to make it happen.